Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss the simple date table for your Power BI dataset. Firstly, we're going to discuss why do we need a command date table for Power BI reporting and what are the two methods to create it. And then after that, we are going to demonstrate it in Power BI Desktop how to create those calendar tables. So the first question is, why do we need a date table? So when you create a report in Power BI, it is a common business requirement that you need to make calculations or you need to slice and dice the data according to the date and time. And your organization or your manager may want to know how the, you know, the business is working over dates, months, years, and quarters, etc. So for this purpose, we do need a complete calendar table in our data set that can be referenced by other sales data, financial data, or HR data, etc. So the second question is, how can we create a command date table? Actually, there are three methods. The first one is source data. That means usually when we get the data from the database or data warehouse, they usually have a complete date table. So you can just import this date table to Power BI for your purpose. And another one is text and Power Query. So if your data source doesn't have a complete date table, we need to create the Comment date table in by uh, in Power BI Desktop you by using text or in Power Query. So these are the three command methods to create a date table. And one more thing to take note is that Power BI do offer a auto date time table for all the date columns in your data set. So this feature is um, easy for you if you don't want to create a date table or if your data set is small. But as I have explained in my previous uh, video, that this feature takes up a lot of space for, for your data set. So using auto date time feature should be avoided uh, as, um, as much as possible because this will cause you the report performance. So uh, now we are going to discuss the second and third option for creating the date table in Power BI Desktop. So for our demonstration, we will use a sample data set, uh, which is the financial data. So I have so far I have only one table in my data set. In this financial data, there is one date column here. So I want to I want to create a one calendar table for this date column. So how am I gonna do that? First of all, I'll go there and table tools new table. Okay, for this one, we are gonna use text function for this calendar table. So there are see there are two text functions for creating calendar table, calendar and calendar auto. So calendar function is like you have to give the start date and end date that you want. And calendar auto is uh, it will detect automatically all the dates uh, the dates in your data set and it will just choose the start date and end date according to your data set date column. So both method have its all you know pros and cons. So for this calendar function, uh, the start date and end date you have to give to it. That means it's static. So if your data grows, then you have to if your data grows and there is a lot more date added to the date column, then you have to enter the start date and end date again. And for this calendar auto, it is good that it will detect automatically the start date and end date. But it is bad that it will sometimes it will detect the all the dates. That means sometimes you have customer table, right? So you have a customer birthday, for example. So it will also detect those customer birthday and it will take the you know earliest date as the start date. So this is the bad thing about it. So in our demonstration, we will just use the calendar auto. So that's it. Enter. So it will give you the table with one column only. So it starts from January 2013, 1st January 2013, and ends to 2014 December. So
So let's check our original date column. So our original date starts from September 2013 to December 2014. So that means our calendar table cover up all the dates in that financial data. Okay, so one more thing is like uh, what if uh, we want to make it uh, this calendar table to change dynamically according to your financial data. For this, we're going to use variable minimum date and maximum date. So let's see. Here we deliberately this. I'm going to use this function. Here, minimum date. Minimum date is we will take the minimum date from the date column that we want. So we specifically identify the date column that we want to use. So it's safe. It will not detect the birthday or any other date. So financial date column is the minimum date. Maximum date is the maximum date in from the column. So we're going to filter the calendar auto function according to this maximum date and minimum date. And then after that, we're going to return, return this complete date. Okay, let's see. So now our date column starts from September 1st, 2013 and ends in December 1st, 2014. So it is exactly the, the start date and end date of this date. See, September 1st and December 1st. Final step that you need to remember is that after creating the calendar table by yourself, you have to mark that table as date table you have to right click here and mark as date table so that means you authorize power bi to check this table if we can use this as a you know main date table or not okay let's try to create the calendar table in uh, query editor so now let's go to blank query so we just need to write a code to get the calendar table so the, we're gonna use the list dot dates uh, function for this function we have to give the three parameter the first one is the starting date this is the start date of our data and the second one is the uh, like uh, how how long so I want the 10 years worth of date so here 365 into 10 after that is the step so I want the one day step only okay one day zero hour zero minute and zero second so just enter here it will just give you a very neat 10 years worth of data so this is just the list so right click and do table so it will change to table so let's give the name calendar calendar Okay, first thing you need to do is you have to change the data type. This is not the date yet. So change it to date data type. Okay, and then after that, if you want to put more columns according to your business need, you can do it here. Add column and then date. You can just put the here column. Okay, for example, again, uh, you can just put the name of the month. This is how we create the calendar table in Power Query. It's quite easy and it's quite convenient. And uh, one thing is after you export this calendar table back to the Power BI, remember that you have to mark this table as date table. I hope you enjoyed today's video and we will see you again in our next exciting and interesting videos. Thank you.